What's going on you guys, Mr. Allen here. In this video, I'm gonna run you guys through the Inequals app on your T84 Plus graphing calculator and how you can use it in your classroom. So the first thing we're gonna do is hit the apps button on our calculator and it's option number seven. So arrow on down to that or just hit seven, enter, and then you have to hit enter one more time. And when we go to our Y equals here, you're gonna notice one thing real quick is that there's an X equals up in the top right. Yes, you can graph vertical lines in this mode. You're also gonna see the quit app option. We'll do that at the very end of the video, uh, but we don't see any inequalities just yet. So let's take a look here. If I arrow over and highlight the entire thing, I'll hit enter on that and now the options will come up. I can change the color if I'd like and then over here with the Y equals, if I toggle to the right, we're gonna to start to see our inequalities and how it's going to shade. So let's do one that's, uh, how about less than or equal to, okay? So we'll do a less than or equal to and then we can type our equation in. So I'm gonna give this thing a, uh, how about a negative 0.5 slope and then we'll do a positive, how about uh, six for our y-intercept. So if we just graph this, let's hit graph. Um, I am currently in the Zoom 6, Zoom standard. So if your students are not, that's one thing that you're gonna wanna address right away is, hey, does anybody's window look a little bit different than mine? If so, I generally start with Zoom 6. So I'm gonna show you guys that right now. Hit Zoom, and then if I go down to number six or just hit six on my keypad, hit enter, it'll put me into that 10, 10, 10 zoom window. And we can see the shading here on these newer ones with the color screen, it's super, super nice. Let's get a couple more going on here. So all right, I'm gonna do three total. So for this one, let's go with uh, now, we'll do a greater than for this, so I'll hit enter on it. Uh, we'll go to just strictly greater than, so you can see a dashed line. Hit enter, and then I will do, how about, um, we'll just do X, so we'll do a slope of one, and then how about minus nine? Okay, uh, let's hit graph. And there we go, all right. So we see, um, actually you know, I'm gonna shift it up just a little bit here because I'm gonna show you guys something else and our, our uh, intersection points are a little bit close. So let's just go to uh, minus seven instead, okay. Beautiful, all right. So now we can see the overlap of our red and our blue, right? We can see the intersection there. So now let's do a third line for this one. I'm gonna do a vertical line. So let's go to our Y equals again, but now I got to arrow up on that X equals, hit enter, and then let's change the inequality. We'll change that to a greater than or how about equal to. So greater than or equal to, um, we'll hit okay. And then let's do greater than or equal to two. All right, hit enter. And okay, I think we probably wanna change our color here, right? That would make a little more sense. So let's go back to that. Go back to my X equals, and I'm gonna change this guy. Let's go with, ooh, let's go green. Green is a little more contrasting, I think. So hit okay on that, and then hit graph. Now we'll have our three different colors. Okay, so you can really see where the three overlap. I mean, it can get a little bit busy in there. So it'd be nice if there was a way to just isolate the intersecting graphs, that shaded region that's been shaded three times. If only there were a way to just see the intersection of those three graphs. So we're gonna hit second and then trace for our calculate menu. And you're gonna notice there's an inequality option now that shows up when you're in this app. So over here we see points of intersection trace. We'll talk about that in a sec here. And then we also have inequality intersection, okay? So we can change that color to whatever we would like. I'm gonna go with the magenta color here since we have not used that. I'm gonna hit enter and now it's gonna show just that and it cuts it off in real time as it graphs each one, which is a super cool visual. So now we can see just our intersecting region of those three inequalities, which is super cool. You'll also notice, maybe in a little more detail now, that the red line is indeed dashed. As you know, we had the, uh, in the Y equals that we did that one as strictly greater than. Now, another thing that's gonna come up here with uh, inequalities in your classroom is you may be doing something called like linear programming um, or you may just want to get those points of intersection and you can do so in your normal way that you would have uh, in the past where you do second calc and then just do the intersection. But we could also do that with this app and it's actually a little bit easier. So second trace again to get to our calculate menu. We'll go to the inequality side again, right? We could still do the you know option number five here. It's a few more steps, but if you go to point of intersect trace, hit enter. Now it automatically goes to those points of intersection and I can arrow around to each one as we see now this one's two five. Um, and then if we, oops, 
There we go. Now we're down at the bottom one right there to negative five. So a nice quick option there, even if you aren't dealing with inequalities, going into the inequalities app and finding your points of intersection, super duper handy. So there we go. Um, overall, that's honestly pretty much the main part of this app. So if we go back to our Y equals here, uh, we can go ahead and quit out of the app. You can put as many of these inequalities as you want in here, but you know, pretty much that is the uh, the gist of things. There's really not a whole lot more that I use in this uh, this menu here. Um, those are the main two: the point of intersection trace and the inequality intersections. Those are the main ones that I adjust. The other two I really don't mess with. So if we go back to that Y equals, we arrow up, we can go over to quit app because I don't like to leave it in this app. I want to go back to my standard graphing type of deal. We'll hit quit app. It'll ask us if we want to. Yes, we're going to go down to number two, hit quit, and we're back. If you go back to your Y equals, you'll still see those equations in there. You won't see the X equals up in the top left-hand corner anymore. It'll just be your normal graphing type of dealio. So that's about it for this one here, guys. Hope you liked it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful, fantastic day. See you guys later.